Hey you, and welcome to the podcast. So today we're going to have a little chat (laughs) because I understand how hard this weight loss thing is. And so I just want to meet you in the struggle. I want to come alongside you and tell you that I know how hard it is and I want to encourage you. I want to help you in your thought process, in your feelings, and in your expectations. And so we're really going to start out with talking about how your expectations are kind of impacting your attitude. I know you're like, girl, what my attitude? You don't even know me. (laughs) I don't, but I know me and I have been blessed with an opportunity to work with some amazing women, some amazing women who kind of confirm that what I went through and what they're going through is very likely what you're going through. So we're going to talk about your attitude of expectation. And I'm going to start by asking you a question. On your weight loss journey right now, are you living with an attitude of expectancy as far as like what God can do for you? Or are you living and walking around with an attitude of your forthcoming failure yet again? Right? Like what is in your heart? Do you have this like expectancy of failure? And what does that look like, Sherry? Okay, that looks like constantly cheating, doubting, like doing all of these things and thinking and feeling all of these things to come in alignment with your expectations, right? Complaining, seeking relief through, you know, uh, other means like running to food or um, wanting it to be easy and therefore doing the easy thing driving through and say, you know, this, the choice I'm making is better than the choice I would have made, you know, justifying things and having excuses, like a slow fade from expectancy in what God can do and will do for you. So what is your attitude like? Are you expecting success or are you expecting failure? Are you perpetually going and looking for the wrong thing? Like looking for the next thing, looking for easier, right? I mean, do you get what I'm saying? And what are your answers? Like if you need to hit pause on this podcast and answer that, what attitude of expectancy am I walking with? Am I expecting to fail? And do my actions substantiate that expectancy? Or am I expecting to succeed because there's nothing God could fail at? And therefore, am I walking in alignment with that kind of attitude in my heart, right? Jeremiah 6.16 mentions the old godly way. And there he tells us to seek it and to walk in it. And from that, you will find what you're looking for. Because the way through, even you're on your weight loss journey, the way through is through God. It's just applying righteousness to your decisions, seeking God's grace to do what is right, and trusting God's will, trusting in his way. And I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm going through right now. What I'm going through right now is God is saying, Sherry, just keep doing what I've put in front of you and stop watching the shiny objects. I have so many shiny objects, shiny objects that are distracting me. And in this distraction, I'm not seeing forward movement where I want to because I keep allowing the distractions to sit me down on this narrow path. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing wrong things, but I'm not doing what God has told me to do. Like I keep having these people reach out to me and saying, Sherry, I can help you make your coaching business be number one in the Christian life coaching for weight loss arena if you will work with me and implement my programs. And I'm like, hmm, all right, let me pay attention to what she has to say for a minute. Where God has told me, Sherry, work with, work on getting the certification done and just focus on feeding the women in the Seekers Method right now. Like, don't even open the doors to the Seekers Method next time, Sherry. I just want you focused on these things. And so the world with its flashy things is just distracting me. And I'm like, okay, you know, and so I've got these other business managers and coaches reaching out to me and saying, 
Sherry, for the small fee of $20,000, I'm not even kidding you, I can help your business explode. You don't have to do reels. You don't have to record a podcast. You can just let your coaching business set sail because the way of doing coaching where you're meeting one-on-one and you're leading women in a group of, that way is... That's an old way, an old paradigm, Sherry. That's not to, the way to get rich quick. And then I, you know, learn from these people that they use the F word and they are all about the bottom line and the dollar. And the Holy Spirit just speaks up and says, <clears throat> no, no. What did God tell you to do? And I can tell you, What God told me to do is to go live every day on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram to create reels so I could help people to see that God is the way, the truth, and the life, even in weight loss, and to work with one-on-one clients because this isn't some big package deal where I can just funnel all of these people in and everybody will just watch my content and lose weight and I'll be a rich millionaire. No, God has said, I need you. I've chosen you. Do the reels, do the podcast, do one-on-one coaching, do group coaching and focus where I have you. Get certified, do all of the things. And God has said, this is the way I want you to go. Pay no attention to the shiny objects. So God wants me to do things his way. And if I do things his way, I have to stop expecting that it's going to be easy, that I'm eventually going to be able to replace my old income. I have to just start expecting that if I do what he's told me to do in this season of my life, to get certified, to keep doing one-on-one coaching, to keep recording a podcast. You know, I I don't get paid for my podcast. That's okay. It's my ministry. If I keep doing what God tells me to do, that that's the old godly way. And he tells me, and he affirms it in Jeremiah 16, where he says, the old godly way, Sherry, do that. Seek the old godly way, walk in it, and you will find what you're looking for. And the same applies to you. You and I are no different. We sit down on the old godly path, right? And we start looking for quicker, faster, easier, more comfortable, immediate, giving me the results that I want and the the results I think I need, right? That's not us doing what God has told us to do in this season. Like, He has told me, and he very likely has impressed it upon your heart, to just apply righteousness to your decision, to seek God's grace, to do what is right, to trust God's will, to trust his way, not wanting to do this and expecting, you know, walking walking through the narrow path and expecting that it's not going to work for you and your weight loss problems. Like, that is how you live with an attitude of expectancy that God's ways aren't enough. And the world tempts us because trust me, the world tempts me. And that's just because like for you, back to you on your weight loss journey, you don't want to come under the authority of God or to submit to God's ways because his ways don't promise easier, right? You want weight loss to be easy. You want to cheat and lose weight. You want to you want to pray and have have God take this away, right? Like that's how I used to be. I know this. That attitude is from the world. It comes from our innate sin nature. And Jeremiah 6:16 6, says, "Ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path and you will find rest for your soul." Now, if you've been if you're a seeker, you should know this. And if you've just been, you know, binging this podcast, You should know this. I mean, do you remember what your soul is made up of? This scripture scripture says, walk in the old godly way and you will find rest for your soul. So what is your soul? It's your mind. It's your will. It's your emotions. It's the things like, it's like the rudder of your thought processes, right? Like, and I want you to think about like, 
how having rest for your soul could be everything. I mean, imagine your thoughts, imagine your will, and imagine your feelings just naturally being bent toward just doing what is right. Imagine how freeing that is, right? To just naturally be obedient. This scripture goes on to say, what is this? Jeremiah 6.16 goes on to say, but no, you don't want the old godly way. That's not the way, that's not the road we want. So what path, if you're listening to me, lean into this. What path do you want? Are you secretly seeking but looking for easy street along the way, right? Like there is not an easier path in weight loss. You can count, you can measure, count all the calories, measure the grams. You can do 10,000 steps. You can work out until you pass out. You can even starve yourself. But even then, you're still going to need obedience and self-control. You're still going to need help to overcome your thoughts and feelings and temptations and all the lust of your flesh. So what could change if you put on an attitude of expectancy and what Christ in you can do if you will just trust him? If you will just perpetually do what is right, even on the weekends, even on vacation, or even when it's stressful at work and the wrong person says the wrong thing at the right time, right? (laughs) Or when people hurt you, or when you're PMSing and you think you need the secret you know, ice cream that you're eating or the secret, you know, thing that you're eating when your husband goes to bed because you believe that, you know, calories don't count if nobody sees it, right? I get that. And right now I just see myself like as a, like as a spiritual watchman, if you will, watching and warning you to wake up and see the danger ahead of you, right? All right. When we come back from this quick commercial break, we're going to talk about the danger ahead of you. Welcome back. So the danger ahead of you is that you have a choice. Like wake up right now and take the right path with God or trust your flesh. Like you have a choice, the godly way or the fleshly way, right? And both paths will have a profound, both paths will give you profound struggles, but one of them deepens your trust in God and the other one just sees weight loss and the temporal offers of like of ease and comfort and flavor and weight loss according to your timeline seeking god prioritizing a relationship with him like where you give him priority if you're what are you giving priority to that you don't have time to prioritize god first Like seeking God and prioritizing a relationship with him, desiring his will in your entire life and doing hard things repeatedly with him through his grace, that's going to lead you to where you're meant to go. It's the old godly path after all, okay? Pay attention to that. But while you walk on this old godly path, get your words, get your thoughts, your emotions all in alignment with what God can do in your life by living with expectancy, living with hope. And this will inflate your trust and it will keep you doing the right things. Don't let a slow pace or slow results or your expectations of what this all should look like and how God should get in alignment with your expectations. Don't let comparison to how your friend who's 20 years younger is losing weight. Don't let all of that to inflate your doubt and keep you looking elsewhere for something only God can provide. So right now, you know what you should be doing. So start doing that. Whether it's the working out, you know, the B&B that I teach you in the Seekers Method, the reaching out in the Seekers Method when you need prayer, the prepping your meals instead of justifying doing easy things on the weekend. You know what you should be doing, so start doing it. You know what you need to stop doing, so stop doing it. The old godly path is going to lead you to weight loss if you don't give up. Where are you giving up? Where are you prolonging it, right? Like by sitting down 
and having a metaphorical temper tantrum about food and ease? Where are you sitting down on the old godly narrow path and allowing shiny objects to distract you like my story, right? Where are you having these metaphorical temper tantrums about how you want this to be easier? Stop being so food focused. Stop being so ease focused. Stop being so scale focused. Stop being so flavor focused. Stop being so food focused. Like once you stop cheating, like perpetually having an allowing, because you're choosing it, you're letting these things happen. Once you stop cheating, you're going to be able to do, you're going to be able to, to, how do I want to say this? Once you stop cheating, You're going to be able to stop thinking cheats are acceptable and it'll be easier to to not have cheats. So what will you stop doing? When are you going to stop doing it? How are you going to stop doing it? Will you get on the old godly path? And if you will, say so. Start saying so. Start believing it. Start living with expectancy. Start getting your, your thoughts, your feelings, and your words in alignment with your expectancy of what God can do through you if you will stop cheating on this old godly path. And if you will do this and you're going to get on, say so and tell me about it. If you're in the seekers method, put it in the messenger chat, put it in a private chat to me, send me a direct message, whatever you've got to do. If you're not in the seekers method, send me an email, send me an email at what is my email? Coach Capilla at gmail.com. Dot com. Capilla is spelled with a K, K A P A L A. Send me an email. Say so. Start walking and believing in expectancy that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, but that you have a role. There is no easy path. There is promises of an easy path from the world. Instead, I'm encouraging you, Christian, listen to me right now. I'm not tickling your ears. I'm telling you to seek the godly path where you and God will together come along. He will come alongside you and you will overcome through righteousness, through perpetually doing the right things daily. You will be made stronger to overcome what has been tripping you up even in weight loss. Hey, just a quick commercial break to encourage you. Like I encourage you to lean into God as an option on your weight loss journey. This is something that nobody ever said to me or encouraged me to do when I was stuck and defeated on my weight loss journey. And if you are struggling to do this on your own, I am inviting you to get the support you need. Come into the Seekers Method. How you do that is you actually just go to my website, sherrycapilla.com. And if enrollment's not open right now, get on my email list. I have a ministry, a heart for service, where I email all of this information to you. My email address is sherrycapilla.com. Or actually, it's by going to my website, sherrycapilla.com forward slash subscribe. And what you need to know about the Seekers Method is it's only open three times a year. I open it in September. I open it in January and I open it again in April. I encourage you, enroll while you still can because I'm actually considering reducing it to maybe only doing it once a year and walking with women through it once a year because I want to work more directly with the women in my Thinner Circle group coaching and I want to work more directly with the clients who are hiring me for one-on-one VIP coaching. Now, I understand that VIP coaching might not be something that could work for every budget. But what I believe is that when you make an investment in yourself, wherever you pay, you pay attention. So if you're struggling in weight loss and you're sick of just throwing money at the weight loss program and you want to be changed from the inside out, I encourage you, go to sherrycapilla.com or theseekersmethod.com. Take a look at what I have to offer there. Take a look at how you can work with me um, and start seeing that, you know what, this might be something you need to save up for, but it's a life transformation with your sights set on on eternity, where your life starts to reflect heaven on earth within you now. So if you want that, 
if you want to go deeper and be transformed in the way that I lead women through transformation in the Seekers Method, I encourage you, take a look at my website, sherrycapilla.com. Get on my email list, sherrycapilla.com forward slash subscribe. Um, look into it. It might be exactly what you've prayed for, even in weight loss.